Brian Manning, one of the sons of the late Patrick Manning, reflected on what it was like to grow up with a father in the public eye. He told the C News that there were many challenges, but he could not have had a better role model. And he shared with us a softer side of the strong political figure. Reporter Melissa Dasraf sat down with him and brings us this story. Good. The one time he would take a vacation was one week for Easter. You know, we'd go somewhere, um, sometimes we'd go to Palaseco beach camp area down there and spend a week uh, of just relaxation, which was unusual for him, of course. Um, those were really good times. You know, and I had some youth basketball games when I was growing up. And he, I mean, one night he showed up to one of my games. And uh, I mean, it was the greatest thing, I thought, you know. It's, it was, it, first of all, it was the best behaved I've ever seen a crowd, you know, that night. <laughs> just days after saying goodbye at the funeral, Brian Manning reflected on the light-hearted and loving nature of the man the nation knew as Prime Minister and he knew his father. He said he had to share him with the public. I remember when I was much younger, sometimes I wouldn't like to go out with him because you'd go to the mall and you feel like everybody is staring at you, you know, and I was a, a young, you know, a young guy. So I didn't like all of that attention. And uh, it, it sometimes made those kinds of interactions difficult. You know, you go to church and then after it's done, you leave about an hour and a half later because he has to talk to everybody in the entire church. <laughs> Brian said his father was a deeply religious man who taught them to put God first and to be disciplined, positive, strong, and focused on whatever they set out to do. You know, even when he got ill and um, I said, you know, should I come back? He said, no, stay and complete your, complete your work. You know, focus and get that done and then you can come back. Uh, you know, so that's the kind of person he always was. He acknowledged the public's desire to honor his father but he said the best way to do that is to change people's lives. I mean, I think the waterfront complex would be perfect because that was one of his crown jewel projects, I would say. Um, it's just that it shouldn't just be that because just naming a, a, a monument or whatever it is after him doesn't help people. You know, mm -hmm. the divine echoes helps people for, for a foreseeable future. The, having a Patrick Manning Development Fund, that will help people region-wide. That would, would certainly make him happy because that's what he was about, um, helping people live their best lives. He said Mr. Manning's stroke in 2012 forced his father to slow down and it gave the family more time to spend with him. Although it does not make his passing any easier to cope with, Brian said the family remains united and has found solace in each other. They promise to keep his legacy alive in their hearts by helping people. Melissa Dostroff, C News.